guys, it's me, Jasmine, and today we have something very special. My friend, Chef Chris O, will be joining us to show us how to make the perfect Korean barbecue spread. He's amazing. He's the previous winner of the Great Food Truck Race, previous winner of Cutthroat Kitchen, and just recently competed on Tournament of Champions. He's unstoppable, and today he has something super special to show us, a Korean barbecue car. I'm not even kidding. Super exciting. Let's go meet him. Hello, Chris. Hello. My goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you. Oh my god, I'm you. so excited! Look at this car! You like it? It is a Korean barbecue car. It is literally a Korean barbecue car. This is amazing. Thank you. I can't even believe the spread in front of me. Not just the spread, but what it's attached to. A freaking car. I, I know. Can you... Okay, before we even begin, can you tell us a little bit about this car? This whole idea actually was spurned on by the pandemic. A lot of people couldn't go to Korean barbecue restaurants, so we decided why not bring the Korean barbecue restaurant to them. We took a car, built this barbecue table, and now we're here. I need to know how you built it. Like, how did this come about? Sion was so great to, like, you know, give us a car and let us build this, like, amazing amazing kind of concept for us. Only a few, like a few short months and here we are. Okay, so what are the features? We have a motorized Korean barbecue table that comes out. We have a TV. The car lowers to like the right table height. We have strobe lights. We have speaker systems. I mean, you name it, we got it. Korean barbecue is one of my favorite foods and the fact that I could have it anywhere, anytime. Yes. Impeccable. Yep. This is so cool about this car. We can take it anywhere. So for those who don't know what Korean barbecue is, what is Korean barbecue? If you don't know what Korean barbecue is, then you need to like get it out from under that <laughs> Get your life together. <laughs> you need to know what Korean barbecue is. Korean barbecue, the way I like to describe it, it's like Cirque du Soleil on the table. I love that. This is not just a meal now, it's more of an experience as you can see. You know, what other kind of meal can you have where you have hot coals in the middle of the table with raw meat that you're gonna grill up, primal, indulgent, all these side dishes we call panchans. I like to describe these as like the free breadsticks and salad you get at Olive Garden. But better. But better. <laughs> but actually, you know, I do love the Olive Garden. Sticks, those I'm are okay, both. No, no, I love Olive Garden. Everything you're explaining, very important parts of Korean barbecue. Like you need to have certain elements to have Korean barbecue. Okay. The protein, mm -hmm. the side dishes, the sauces, mm -hmm. the wraps. Yep. So starting with the protein, what are the must-have proteins for KBBQ? You're gonna have your karbi. And then secondly, we have the bulgogi that we made earlier. This is just like sliced ribeye, same marinade as the karbi. And then lastly, we have like the pork belly, which is my favorite. So moving on to side dishes, yes. otherwise known as <laughs> panchans. panchans. Honestly, if panchan's not at Korean barbecue, I don't feel like I get the full experience. No, I personally judge a Korean barbecue restaurant on their side dishes. I also judge a Korean restaurant based on their panchan. If it's sweeter, I know the rest of their dishes are gonna be sweeter too. What are the must-have side dishes? My personal favorite is potato salad. That's like the first thing to go on any Korean barbecue table. There's that one bad person though who always takes the full scoop. Are you oh, that person? You no. <laughs> okay, good. You're good. <laughs> but I don't I do know people. You know who you are. It's always the japchae and the potato salad. Yes. If you take all of it in the first thing, God, you are not a people person. Uh, uh, no, no. So what are the side dishes we have here today? So we have spinach, we have potato salad, we have garlic and jalapeno, bean sprouts. Radish kimchi, corn cheese, chapche. Chapche is Korean noodles. Like stir fried glass stir -fried noodles. noodles yeah. yeah. Another very important element the wraps. Rice paper, sliced daikon, shiso leaves, lettuce. Did we say rice paper? Yeah. <laughs> sauces. Sauces. Iconic sauces. The trio of sauces plus more. Yep. What are the sauces that we need to have? So, you gotta have sesame oil, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. That's one a lot of people don't do. Like when you see a little, t like a little pit of salt on your table, Ask the server to pour you a little sesame oil. That's yes. what you gotta do. Wait, are people not used doing that? Not my friends. Not my Korean friends, really. They, like, some people just like just the salt. What? It's the same person that keeps taking all the potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> and another underutilized sauce is the samjang. Yes. You guys know what samjang is? It's like fermented soybean paste, gochujang, some garlic, some sesame oil. It's like nutty, savory, mm -hmm. goes well with so many things. Yep. Let's dive into the protein. Finally! Yes! Let's all right, time so to eat. what do you want to do? You want to start with the kalbi? You want to start with the bulgogi? I'll let you choose. All right, so since kalbi is closer to me, let's do kalbi. Ooh, music to my ears. And what are your tips on like how to grill it correctly? So with karbi, so it's short rib. I actually like it a little bit more medium to medium well because I feel like when it's medium rare, it's a little chewy. So I suggest for all you out there to cook your karbi a little bit harder. And I like char. Char is good. Char is so yeah. good. It changes the flavor completely. It Absolutely. brings that smokiness that just adds that extra dimension to it. And like with such a good cut of meat, you want to like just take, you know, go all the way. Like none of this like half ass kind of stuff. Just totally. Let's just go, go for the gusto. And what about the grill? Like what 
is the ideal grill someone should be using when having Korean barbecue at home? It all depends. Your karebis and your purgogis, you definitely want to try to use like an open face grill with some charcoal or something because you want the flames to like kiss the meat and give you that real nice like, you know, like that charred flavor. Kiss the meat, I love that phrase. The best part on this piece of meat is the meat around the bone. Hard agree. Hands up. Eat the cartilage off the short rib bone. Yes. Thank ah. you. Mm -hmm. This looks amazing, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's pretty good for being off the back of a car. It is the real thing. If not better. Mm-hmm. I get this question a lot. Are you allowed to eat with your hands? Yes. What? Uh, people always ask me, is it okay? Is it inappropriate? Is it disrespectful if I eat with no my way. hands? No way. Absolutely not. Eat well, however you want. If it gets into your mouth, into your stomach, you're eating it mm -hmm. right. Unless you order rice and during all you can eat. What's the next meat? We'll do the uh, the purgogi, the ribeye. Yum. And how did you make your purgogi? We take a bunch of aromatics like onions, garlic, ginger, apple pear, sesame oil, honey, black pepper, brown sugar, some water. Mix it all up, put our thinly sliced ribeye in there, let it marinate for 24 hours, and then boom, put that on there. Oh. And the apple pear does play a role in the marinade, right? Absolutely, so the apple pear helps like break down the muscles and the meat, so you get a really, really nice tender piece of meat. So when you take that first bite of carb, you get the, the umami from the soy sauce, the, the sweetness from the sugar and the honey. You get a little bite of the onion and the ginger, just like a, every bite has a different like layer of, uh, of flavor. And I like that you can mix and match different things to create different flavors in each bite. I don't know, but you guys, I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. Yeah, go for it. I'm looking at this. So, Not gonna lie, that's the best thing on the whole entire table. You're like, I'm really good. Damn, my potato salad. I'm gonna be that guy and eat the whole thing. Korean barbecue places just use butane fuel mm -hmm. and just have a fire. You're yeah. using charcoal here. Does it change the texture, the flavor? Absolutely, the charcoal definitely gives you that nice smoky flavor and it gives you that little char that you have. You can obviously tell between a non-grilled meat versus a grilled meat. Um, because you're gonna get that smokiness, you're gonna get that crisp char. You can even smell the difference when it's preheating. The great thing about Korean barbecue is there's only one roll, and that roll is there are no rolls. I love that. Dig in! Cheers. Cheers. I got a crisp. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. You can taste the charcoal. Mm -hmm. If you're making pulgogi at home, totally okay to not have the charcoal, but charcoal yes. definitely does take it to that next level. Not as good as potato salad though. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have the pork belly, the gochujang honey belly pork belly. And this has got pork belly mixed with gochujang, some honey, some Thai chili sauce, some garlic, some jalapeno, some ketchup, some sriracha. So your favorite meat? Yes, this is like, I love pork belly to begin with. Um, but again, like with the sugars, the natural sugars, like the chili sauce and the honey, it's gonna give it a nice char. It's like, game over. Game over. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> There's always a designated person cooking for Korean barbecue. Yeah. Does it end up being you? Because it ends up being me all the time. Yeah. You would think it would be me because I'm a chef, but clearly not. Why I'm did you the... put that in quotes? You are a chef. You're literally a chef. I would purposely be at the end of the table. <laughs> Definitely not this close. Because it's work. Why would people put you to work? Absolutely. They're, your They're like, hey, Chris, I see you cooking. Can you do this for me? <laughs> uh, no. Mmm. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. I'm like having a life crisis right now. I'm used to saying that I'm not a huge fan of pork belly. Really? But because it's chewy and this is melt in your mouth soft. It's like, a, it's hard to describe it. Mine is super soft like butter. Oh. There are so many side dishes. I'm gonna take some. Yep. I'm gonna definitely grab a big scoop of potato salad. Yes, 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 yes. Another Korean barbecue do is take some kimchi. Yes! Throw it this. on the grill. Oh my goodness, absolutely. The potato salad. Oh yeah, right? Pretty money, right? Not to toot your horn, <laughs> but it is very delicious. How did you make your potato salad? I boil some potatoes, mix it with some apple pears, some fresh grapes, some corn, some eggs, some kimchi mayonnaise, furikake, some green onions. A lot of love. I really like the addition of the grapes. I think that's very unique. Yep. It's like soft and tender, has that burst of sweetness. Yep. I, it's amazing. We gotta mm. dig into this corn cheese. Corn cheese? Corn cheese is like so good. The way it just steams in your face. Oh my God. You could not mess up this dish. You only mess up by not ordering it. It's easy to make. It's packed with flavor. That mayo gives it that tanginess, that punch. There's kimchi here. How did you guys make your kimchi? This is actually our house made kimchi. Kimchi is so versatile. The crazy thing about kimchi is when I was growing up, I was so scared to like eat kimchi, especially like going to school and doing that. But like now kimchi is like everywhere. It's so cool how, you know, Korean, like Korean barbecue and the Korean culture has really like come to like the forefront of this society. People are more accepting of it nowadays. Yep. On very lazy days, 
I love to just kimchi eat up rice. some rice. Oh! <laughs> like kimchi to us is like mashed potatoes and gravy to like Americans. It's just like comfort food. It has to be there. It's like the staple. Okay, I, we need to talk about the steamed egg. Yes. So important as well. How do you make it? So the steamed egg is really simple to make. It's just eggs, water, a little sesame oil, a little salt. You can, you know, if you want to really kick it up, use some like shrimp paste. That's it. I love the fluffiness of it. It's like super refreshing, so light. All right, sauces. We have a selection of sauces here. We have tons of sauces. We have our very iconic salt and pepper and sesame oil. You have your samjang. You also have your own line of sauces. And then you can be extra like me and have your K-pop sauces. We have like a triple X gochujang sauce, a honey glaze sauce that's like very similar to what we had on the pork belly, and then your traditional this gochujang. Wraps are also very important in Korean barbecue. Yep. What wraps do we have here today? So we have some perilla leaf, we have some lettuce, and we have some very thinly sliced daikon, and some rice paper. Well, with all these elements, <clears throat> Chris, can you show me your perfect Korean barbecue bite? My pleasure. I'm gonna take a nice, fresh perilla leaf. We have a little thinly sliced daikon, and then I like to do a little jalapeno, a little bit of garlic, and a nice dollop of the uh, samjang sauce, and then some of the meat, the perfect bite. Mm. That looks so good, I'm gonna try it. But let me show you my perfect bite first. I have my meat, I'm gonna dip it in my sesame oil, salt, pepper sauce. And then I'm gonna take my, oh yes, kimchi, and then radish paper. I put it on top, and then I scoop it like this. Cheers. No word. That was a very perfect bite. Uh, but the great thing about Korean barbecue is whatever bite you make will be the perfect bite. And there's so many different flavors, so many different side dishes that you can mix and match to invent your new perfect bite. There are billions of combinations of bites on this table that you could literally create in one sitting. This was an amazing experience. Yeah, it was. Everyone at home, now you know how to make perfect Korean barbecue at home. Or if you're trying it for the first time at a restaurant, you know what to expect. But for people who are interested in renting out this Korean barbecue car, how can they do that? That is a great question. You can go check out the website. It's kbbqcar.com. Um, our Instagram is the same thing, kbbqcar. And if you guys try Korean barbecue or make Korean barbecue at home, make sure to snap a picture and tag us on Instagram so we can see. That's right. Bye. Oh, yes.